Hello guys and welcome to another video. On this video I'm going to be showing you the best food, how to acquire its recipe and how to actually efficiently craft it or the best way to craft it and the way I do it. So the food that we're talking about is going to be the delicious Adeptus Temptation. This food is going to grant you 372 attack and 12% rate rate for your whole teammates. This food is very similar to Jade Parcels, a food that you get by completing story, but it just has better stats. It's also a little bit harder to craft and it has a bit more bottlenecks, so please do craft them both. But this one is clearly better, so I'm gonna teach you now how to actually acquire the recipe. The way you acquire the recipe is by doing a quest that uh, makes you turn three cranes. These three cranes are gonna be positioned right here. So basically, you're gonna you're, you're gonna want to go on the secret island that stands on King Yun Peak, and the cranes are gonna be right here, right there, and on the other mountain, which is Mount Hula. These are the three spots that you're gonna have. But from this peak, from the King Yun Peak, which is actually where you actually find the um, the island, uh, I'm gonna show you where they are. It's gonna be one crane there on that on that little mountain. One crane is gonna be right there on the other. And the other crane is going to be right there on the other mountain. So from here you can see all three peaks and you can fly to them, which is a lot better. So honestly, just come to King Yun Peak and you're going to be okay. So that's how you find the cranes. You go, you go there, you talk to the statue, and it's going to give you the option to rot rotate them. You're going to rotate them to here, and then three beams of light is going to, are going to be created, and then this little tower is going to be activated. Once you activate this tower on the King Yun Peak, it's going to create a wind tunnel, and then you're going to be able to ascend to the island. As you ascend on the island, little, little islands are going to be created, so you can actually step on them and go up. So all you got to do is, you got to follow them. As you follow them, it's going to take you to more islands, which is going to lead you essentially to your destination. Right here on this island, you're going to be having three chests. You're going to have three chests, and one of them is going to grant you the um, recipe or just interact with anything in this island, and you're going to get that uh, recipe. Once you acquire that recipe, you will realize that it's not the easiest food to craft. Okay, the way you craft this is you go into a normal cooking utensil, which is going to be very straightforward, and the, 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 the required uh, ingredients are going to be ham, crabs, shrimp, and matsusake mushrooms, okay? I'm gonna tell you how to get all these and the fastest ways to get it. The easiest one is gonna be the shrimps because shrimps can, can actually be purchased every single day from this uh, vendor. So if you're in Linway, or which is actually the place that I'm in, I'm on Linway Harbor. So if you're in Linway, all you have to do is get the cooking guy, go to the right, and you'll find the, 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 the materials vendor. At the materials vendor, you're going to be finding a lot of materials to cook with, with being one of them, your shrimp. You can actually get this one day, one every day. It says right there, it re item refreshes in the time, so you can exactly know when the shop is going to refresh, and you can buy a hundred at a time. So it's actually pretty good. So shrimps are never going to be your bottleneck of this recipe. For the second the ingredient, you're going to be needing ham. Ham is fairly easy to get. It's not super easy, but you will require raw meat. As you, 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 you go ar about around, you also have another way to get it. Uh, <laughs> sorry, my English is, is kind of it's it's getting screwed, screwed up a little bit. So basically, you go to a shop and some shops are going to have some ham for you. As you can see, this one doesn't have it, but the, the one on Mondstadt has it. So you're going to have some shops that uh, near the, the cooking place that are going to sell you some ham, but it's mostly going to be 10 or 5 ham. So that's definitely not going to cover how much you need because those actually reset either weekly or more than just one day. You can't get those every day. So the other way you can actually get it is you go to the cooker, you click on the processing ingredient tab, and then from meat and salt, they can actually purchase on the other um vendor that I just told you about. You can purchase the salt there and with meat and salt you can craft some ham. And ham is going to be one of your bottlenecks but it's going to be the easiest one just because uh, meat is easy to find. All you have to do is go around the map and kill animals. I'm going to show you a couple spots that are really really good for meat but for now let's talk about the last ingredient which is going to be crabs and matsusake mushrooms so it's less ingredients. So for matsusake mushrooms there's actually a little bug in the game that might actually have been fixed because on t uh, on today's patch they actually said something about bushes and in them interacting in a weird way so they actually might have fixed this but I'm going to show you the way anyway. In Mondstadt you're going to be wanting to teleport to the temple of the wolf which is above the cryo regis vine uh, boss 
and you're going to be heading to a place that's going to have a flower and a lot of bushes. And I'm going to show you that place. Right from the domain, all you have to do is follow the road, go down and make a little bit of a turn left. Once you reach this area right here, you're going to find a weird looking flower with a lot of bushes around it, okay? This is not the only spot where this works, but it's the most common spot that you can do it. All you, all you need is a flower and bushes and something that doesn't kill the flower. So after this, all you have to do is you swap to Lissa and you put Lissa in your party, but right now I'm gonna fight. You put Lisa in your party and you attack this flower with Lisa. Lisa cannot break the flower, but because uh, her delivery attack actually does a little bit of AoE damage, it hits the bushes around it. Uh, if you kill bushes, it drops Matsusake mushrooms. So as you attack this flower, it's going to break the bushes, but the bushes are going to remain there. So it's going to consistently break all the bushes around this rock and it's going to drop Matsusake mushrooms and some eggs. And let me actually check if they fix this or not. They actually did, because now, with Lisa, you can not... Okay, there you go. See, they fixed it, okay? Now when you hit this, it does the attack, but it actually breaks the bushes. So this has been fixed, and this will no longer work for you. So the best actual way to get mushrooms is to go around trees, and every, every time you see a glowing uh, anything around the tree, is going to be either a mushroom or a matsusake. So there's only two ways to get it now. He's like this. As you can see, you can get Matsusake near trees, or you can grab a unit with a sword and you just break bushes until it actually drops Matsusake, but the drop chance is not super, super good, and you can also drop other items from it. So, yeah, that's the way you get Matsusake, so it's gonna, it's gonna need a bit more... It's gonna be, it's gonna require to get more efficient uh, because now we're gonna have to uh, mark Matsusake mushroom spots in the map because it's not gonna be as easy to acquire. Now, on to the last, last of the most hard or the hardest uh, ingredients to get. Near the flower, it's still near, near the ice flower, the cryo regis vine, you're gonna need to want to teleport to the Star Valley Monstadt, all right? Once you teleport to this teleporter, you're gonna find one of the best spots for crabs. But there's another spot that is very, very good, but I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. All you have to do is glide down from it and right there, where my, my Katsing's head is pointing towards, right here, right here and right there is going to be where you're going to find your crabs. So you're going to want to drop here. Every, By the way, your spawn timer is going to be synchronized with the mobs that exist here. So every time you spawn in and there are monsters here, kill the monsters, get the crabs. There's going to be a ton of crabs right here, which I already got today. And then all you need to do in the rotation is get this and then go over the rock right here and you're going to find a couple more right here in the end. I'm going to try to get there as fast as possible because I do want to show you how you actually get to these areas. So you're going to have some crabs right here on top of this rock and then you're going to have crabs here, crabs here and crabs here. So this is one of the best spots uh, for crabs and unfortunately this spot doesn't actually show on the interactive map. But you can also use the interactive map and they're, they're going to show you a bunch of spots around Linue but honestly they're not as good as this spot right here near the Falcon Coast. But there's yet another spot that is very 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 good for crab and now I'm going to show you because it's a secret spot. So here we are at our secret spot. You're going to be wanting to head to Star Snatch cliff but as you can see by the map you don't really see a lot of a lot of beaches around here so what you want to do is you want to teleport to your domain and you want to go around all the way to where i'm standing right there so once you get here how do you actually acquire the crabs well all you have to do is turn around and you'll see that there is an island that is unmarked on the map but i marked it as crabs why <laughs> because this is a secret island that has a quest line if you haven't done it go check it out it's really really cool but all you really need to do is come to star snatch and put ember on if you have venti venti works as well why because these are characters that have a passive that has less stamina consumption on your gliding also another way to complete this is just more food if you if you actually just craft food that uh, reduces your consumption of stamina right here, uh, you're going to get there super, super easily. I'm going to pop one just because, just so you know how much leftover I get, and because I have Venti and Venti is OP, it's going to be pretty easy. All you got to do is wind tunnel up, glide, and get all the way there. Of course, we're not going to do the journey. Journey is going to take a while, so I'm going to skip when I'm there. And as you can see, 
just like that we reach the island with still a ton of stamina left. So once you reach the island, you're gonna find that this island is riddled with crabs from one end exactly to the other. So you have crabs from one place right here from this corner all the way to the other corner. If you're inter interested on taking the island quest right here, all you gotta do is talk to that little instrumental thing right there but you have crabs all the way around the shoreline and it's just a really good spot for crabs uh, and those two are the only ones I use because it's normal it's normally enough to give you a lot I can actually show you how many crabs I have at the moment which is gonna be not a lot but enough to do a little bit of crafting so where is my where are my crabs where are my crabs at did I skip them I probably always skip them here we go. I have 72 crabs. You need three per craft. So I have enough to do a little bit of crafting with this one for, for at least 20 uh, recipes. So yeah, that's basically the tips that I have for you. So to get meat, I have another tip. So I haven't finished yet. So I have another spot where you can actually get reliable food, uh, reliable, re reliable meat, but the spawn timer is kind of high. So do keep that in mind. You, you, know, you would normally just have more success by uh, going around in forest areas uh, around Mondstadt and you're gonna find a lot of wild animals to kill and get their meat from. But there is a spot right here that is, that is exceedingly, exceedingly good at, um, you know, having boars. So I'm gonna show you that spot. Once you get to the teleporter, head towards the west side of this coast and you're gonna have to climb a little bit of hills and you'll find the spot that has a lot of boars. Here we go, here we are at the boar spot. Um, basically you climb over the hill and you're gonna go head down this way and we already can see four boars inside. Let's see how, how many boars we can see. Oh, do you see all these boars? Yeah, uh, all you have to do is be careful because once you kill one, they get scared off. But as you can see, you, you can actually get quite close to them and I don't know why there's so many boars in this area, but this is my secret boar spot and where I get ton of meat every single day. So yeah, this is a secret you're probably not gonna find anywhere because most of these secrets I find through just random exploration. And yeah, now you know my boar spot. So hopefully the, all these meat running away from me was worth it for you. And those are my tips to make the best food in the game. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.